Hello, this is Ponzi, and today I'm going to show you how I made this. First off, you start with a piece of floor mat, get your glue, Mod Podge, and super glue, a knife, some paint brushes, some paints, flock, and grass tufts. Start by taking your knife and doing almost like a jagged motion. This will hopefully cut through enough that you can tear it later. It also gives it a nice rocky texture. Sometimes it's easier to cut in to give a bit of leverage. Just pull it apart and start making your way around the whole area that you cut. Flipped it over, just a bit easier to cut it. After you finish tearing it all, you want to get to the next step. And you want to keep all the bits that you tear off because they can be used later. So that's the shape that I've gone with this time. You can go with any sort of shape you want, bigger, smaller, it's up to you. I sped this bit up, but basically I'm doing the same, but on smaller pieces of foam, tearing up. I'm being quite thorough with this, and I know exactly what I want, but you don't have to be as fussy as I am. The small bits that you do tear off can be used as rocks later on, so I like to keep them in a big pile ready for use later. Kind of see the rock there. I'm doing an even larger section now. Again, just tearing around it gives it a nice texture. Just trying to decide where I want each part to go. Adjusting it as needed. And you can use PVA glue. Um, I like to use super glue because it's easier and sets a lot quicker. If you cut into the foam, then it will adhere much better and give you a much more stronger bond. Don't need too much super glue, but a decent amount. Apply a little bit of pressure, push down, and it should be fine. Do the same for the other bit. Those are the two main bits. From here, I'm just adding smaller rocks. There's all the bits that I collected earlier, and you just want to put these where you feel it's best. It doesn't matter too much because nature is pretty random, so just put them down wherever. Again, you can use PVA glue for this. I've just opted for super glue because it's much quicker to set. Now 
couldn't really decide where I wanted that piece to go. Next you want to paint it all over with Mod Podge and black paint mixed together. This is from Black Magic Crafts video. You can also use a spray primer. This foam has no problem taking any sort of spray. It won't melt or anything. And once you've done that all over, let it dry and you want to start painting your rocks next. Once you've got your black and white get nice sort of grey going on and you want to put that all over. I didn't dry out the brush because this is just to give the base colour of the rocks. That's why you start with a black. And once you've done this then add a bit more white and then you can do a proper dry brush. So that's what the tissue is nearby for, just to dry out the brush. So try and get pretty much all the paint off and then just gonna apply this all over the rocks. Depending on what sort of design you're doing, you can highlight the rocks more or less. You could leave them like this. I decide that I want to have them a little bit brighter on the highlights so I get one more shade of grey which is lighter to put across the very edges. making sure to try out all the paint. And just get the edges, don't need to go over everything. And you can kind of see that the rocks are starting to get a lot of character. Once that's all dried, you go on to the Mod Podge stage or PVA glue, whichever you're using. You just want to put this all over. I tried to go for a sort of stifling effect and then I got impatient and started doing big strokes with the brush. But do whatever you find easiest. And you want to apply this all over. Try not to get it on the rocks. If you do, it's not too much of a problem as once it's dried we can fix it. And then apply your flock. This is a green that I've mixed two flocks together. Give it a bit of variety. but can use flock, you could use dirt, whatever you've, what sort of scene you're trying to portray. Pour off the excess into the thing and clean it up. From here you can use a brush to flick out all the pieces of flock off the rocks that you don't want and he's aware that the glue has gone on the rocks a little bit. Just somewhere between the drying process, you need to just give it a go really. That was a bit too dry, so I used a little scraping tool to scrape it off. Could have used the knife. And then spray it all with isopropyl alcohol and then with PVA glue and water mixed together. There's plenty of tutorials already online for this. 
and then you want to soak up any PVA glue. Let that fully dry. Now the bit that takes the uh, most time is putting grass tufts over the whole thing. It's not a necessary step, but it does add a lot of character. Well, once you've done all that, you'll be left with something like this. And here's a few other shots. And you can even do other ones like this. Thanks for watching.